This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Tuesday, June 12, 2012, in Canada. Radar imagery from Environment Canada shows scattered rain across most of the southern provinces. This includes the cities of Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Regina, Winnipeg, Sudbury, Ottawa, Toronto, Montreal, and Quebec City. The atmospheric bands over Toronto moving into Quebec have high potential for fallout and should be avoided. Smoke events at Fukushima Daiichi from five days ago also make the rain across the west coast suspect as well. In the U.S., radar imagery from IntelliCast shows excessive tropospheric movement into the southern region of Alaska and just north of Hawaii. Current radar shows light rain in the Pacific Northwest and a strong line of storms in development through the Central Plains and into Texas. The East Coast is also experiencing rainfall, and although the current jet stream and tropopause are far north of these areas, high Geiger readings were measured yesterday in Michigan, St. Louis, and Chapel Hill. Therefore, the East Coast rain should be considered as having high potential for fallout, and this also extends into Florida. The high readings in South Bend, Indiana are still being widely discussed on the Internet. I visited this area over the weekend and did not record anything alarming. One thing for certain is that we need many more people monitoring radiation levels throughout this country. Germany has a thousand detectors in a country the size of Montana. The EPA only has one monitor in Billings and the beta graph hasn't been recording for months. In Europe, precipitation forecasts show extensive rain across most of Europe with the exception of Portugal, Spain, southern Italy and the far south. The heaviest rain and water vapor bands will be moving through Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Poland, and the Czech Republic over the next 24 to 36 hours. Please check Yurdep for radiation monitors, a link which can be found at fukushimafacts.com. Nuke Report At the NRC office in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, a file cabinet which possibly contained radioactive materials was inadvertently discarded or lost. It is unlikely, according to their report, to cause permanent injury to individuals. At the Oregon Department of Radiation Protection in Beaverton, a capture detector containing radioactive material was also lost. Again, it is unlikely to cause permanent injury to individuals. And at Nine Mile Point, another contractor today failed a random fitness for duty test. This is the second one in two days. With these types of reports, do you feel safe? This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.